OPP Constable Mark Hoving was laid to rest today on Manitoulin Island after being shot in the line of duty last Thursday, November 19th. With a population of about 16,000, crime is virtually non-existent on the island, so his murder has shaken this tight-knit community to its core. It is a day filled with chaos and darkness, said Minister Joel Locke after the sudden and tragic loss of the 52-year-old father of four and beloved husband. We live in a broken world. This became very real to our family on November 19th. A 28-year veteran of the OPP, Mark Hoving had lived and worked on Manitoulin Island for 21 years and raised his family there with his wife Leanne. Last Thursday at about 11 a.m., he and his partner were called to a rural piece of land near Gore Bay for reports of a trespasser, reportedly a squatter inside a trailer on the property. There was an altercation and gunfire erupted between Constable Hoving and the suspect, leaving both the officer and 60-year-old Gary Broman dead. Hoving's partner was uninjured. Today's funeral was attended both virtually and in person by numerous dignitaries, family, friends and colleagues who paid tribute to the sacred indigenous land of Manitoulin Island as they honoured the life of Mark Hoving. I stand before you today with a broken heart, asking myself how, how is it possible to be so sad but yet so proud. We love you and we miss you. <sighs> Mark Hoving is remembered as a humble, kind man, a gentle giant and devoted member of his church who adored his family, his work and the wild beauty, the peaceful serenity of Manitoulin Island. He was compassionate, somebody who might pull drivers over but not give them a ticket because he didn't want to ruin their day. An animal lover who always had an array of unusual pets, he also had a great self-deprecating sense of humor, something one of his brothers teasingly illustrated at today's service. He knew that he could do anything as well as anyone else, only cheaper. Premier Doug Ford attended the service today and mourned along with the community. It was a tragic, senseless loss of life. Described as emotional and complex, the investigation into what exactly happened last Thursday is ongoing. The province's Special Investigations Unit has taken over. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.